we may or may not have just made a very impulsive decision. $9,000 impulsive decision. Ah, we are currently the proud owners of a 1985 Sun Raider. Woo! But it's late and it's dark and we're driving away for our first drive. Oh no, do the lights work? <laughs> Oh, there they are. Okay, okay, we gotta learn some things. Ladies and dudes. Ladies and doodlemen. Doodles and lady gems. <laughs> ah! Can you believe it? I can't. <laughs> I'm a little kind of confused on what just happened. It was listed at 15, she came down to 12. We turned the plumbing on. It's a disaster, so now we got it for nine. The fridge doesn't come on yet. <sighs> There's a lot of things that immediately need to get fixed up, but yeah. we're driving her away. Ay, ay, ay. This morning is all big things, all good things. Hopefully, I'm hoping, hoping it's good things. We only brought a couple of bags with us in Olive, and now we're moving them <laughs> to our new land. <laughs> Yo, it's moving day. <laughs> As you guys know, Olive's a new owner has been really amazing. We've actually been sleeping in Olive for the last three nights, even though she's been sold. While well, we looked for our new van, and now we're all heading to the DMV together to get all the paperwork done. What is this? Welcome to our new crib. Let's go make it legal. Come on, Barbie, you can do it. We're a bit slower than Olive. Wow, the sunrise is beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, downhill. <laughs> Motherfuckers. <laughs> Olive definitely has a little bit more power than this new yet to be named rig. If you have an idea for a name, let us know in the comments below. Whoa. The DMV doesn't open for an hour. Saturday is the only day of the week that it doesn't require appointments. So we showed up an hour early and there's already a full parking lot and a lineup out like around the corner of the building. Oh, hi. Oh, you got me food? I got you coffee. What, what would be like a normal amount of miles? Thank you. Okay. Doing insurance. Oh, okay, sweet. <laughs> we just stood in that line for two hours and 45 minutes just to get a ticket that says 1130 on it. So now we have a three hour wait before we even get to go back. Don't lose that. That's very important. I think I might sell it to the guy in the back. Because <laughs> they're definitely not getting in. Whoever's in the back of the line is fucked right now. So maybe, what do you think, like 300 bucks? Something like that? This ticket's gold. The DMV took many hours. We were there from basically 7 in the morning till 1.30. Then we drove over to Discount Tire to get two new front tires because they look a little bit rotten. They don't have them in stock, so we're gonna have to order them to Salt Lake City because they can't get them here till Monday, so we have to drive it. Then we come to fill up gas and the gas tank is leaking. Yeah, like is you. Don't look my hoo-ha. I think it also looks good. It was, it was just the pump. Yeah, it was just the pump. I'm so hungry and I'm just tired and I feel like I need a nap. I need a big thing of food and then I need a nap. And that will make me happy. Paco, how do you like your new digs? Oh, good. A sneeze means he's excited, so perfect. The DMV only costs a buck. And now we have food, so everything is a little bit better. A little bit, not much. <laughs> <laughs> Another thing that we wanted to do before we did this big drive is we want to get the transmission and the oil checked. I did notice a little bit on the pan, so we'll see what we'll see how it goes. And I'm testing out the couch. It's really good. <laughs> We got the oil changed. The oil looks good. The pan's great. Everything's nice and clean. It had the proper amount of fluid in it, and uh, but the oil was black. So it was good to change it. I also switched the oil from regular oil to fully synthetic. Now we could get 5K out of it, and we could just swap it out, and it should actually get cleaner hopefully over time. And then the, the last thing is that, diff that differential. The rear differential definitely has a leak. He said the torque is right on the bolts, so it's definitely the, the gasket itself, which is something, once again, that I could do, and it's only like 12 bucks for the gasket. It's just a matter of getting the fluid and putting the right amount of fluid in. So he gave me all those specs, and I appreciate it, so I gave him a little $5 tip, you know? I took a nap. Yeah. It was a really good nap. I feel like now that I'm pregnant, I'm just like, I get so hungry, and then I get so tired, and then I get so tired. <laughs> 
Alex. Oh, that's Paco. Alex, this doesn't look like the Whoa. old man. It's a little bit cramped up here. Oh my gosh. Not Paco gonna lie. is not a big dog. And he's almost hitting his head. <laughs> Literally. He's only this far away. We've already got plans to get a thinner mattress. And we need window covers because none of these windows have covers. And look how aggressively bright this light is. It's only got one setting. Full blast. I'm pooped. Today was a super long day. The DMV was way too early, and we've got a huge drive to Salt Lake City tomorrow. <laughs> I'll see you guys there. Oh. Um, we love you. We'll miss you. <laughs> You're in good hands. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> what about you, Paco? You said to say goodbye. He's like, what? We're not going in? Yeah. No, buddy. This is the new home right here. Yeah, this one, not that one. Oh man, we're officially leaving her. Road tripping from Las Vegas back to Salt Lake City. As you guys know, we emptied our entire van Olive out in KJ and James Stokeloaf's garage. So now we need to go back and get all that stuff and get it into, I feel like I want to call her Sunny for now. Uh -huh. Sunny the Sun Raider. Sunny the Sun Raider, I like it. Okay, okay. we're learning new things about Sunny as we're driving. And the first, <laughs> not the first, but one of the things is that we went and picked up some coffee and tea for the ride. No cup holders. The front is really clean though. Like honestly, like, but it won't be for long if we have our sugary drinks spilling all over the place. It's very important that we get the radio fixed as well because right now we have zero sound in here. Before we make the big trip to Florida, we're definitely going to have to get those speakers working. miles per hour in this bad boy. That's great. I mean, I know going up hills is gonna be slow, but the fact that we can even get to 70 is, uh, that's, that makes me happy. What happened? One of the little doors on the side came off. It's the one for the heater, for the furnace. Oh no. Yeah. We lost a flippy floppy flap lost door? A flippy floppy was flop that the door. one that was being held on by tape? Uh, no, the one that's being held on by tape is now flopping too. Oh no, doors. that's dangerous too. That just literally like, that could have hit somebody. God. That sucks. We made it 75 on the dash and then poof, the door came flying off. <laughs> So she's been driving great, but the only thing is when we go long uphills, definitely slows down. I got the hazards on because we're only doing 50 miles an hour going up this hill, which is, isn't terrible, but it's definitely slower. Like, look, that guy's passing us right now. <laughs> we're towing a car. <laughs> it would have been amazing if his car was towing a boat and then his boat was towing another trailer. Right. <laughs> it just like kept on coming. But we're speeding up now, we're about at 55 yeah. now. So it's just like, you just got to crest the hill and then you're good to go. Yeah. And now we know that the electrical system is absolute dog shit. But luckily for us, we have this All Powers 700 model. Without this bad boy, we would have no way to charge our phones, charge our computers, do anything in the van that we would normally do because literally none of the plugs work. With this bad boy, you could enjoy 606 watt hours of power and you could continuously push out 700 watts if you want to run a blender or something like that. There's multiple different ways to charge this unit. We have the solar panels that come with it, so you can charge it via solar, which is great, because then you can just have it cranking all day long. But if there's no sun, you can also charge it at a coffee shop with the 120 plug. You can also charge it when you're driving your car, plug in that little cigarette lighter, that's your little 12 volt hookup, and that will give you power as well. And even when we were in Olive, we had a power setup just like this, because even with the beefy systems, it's so nice to 
have the extra for if it's a really cloudy day, the thing's already fully charged and you don't have to worry about draining your system. We've got a full setup going all on the all power system. Frank's cranking the computer. I've got the cell phone plugged in and we've also got these twinkly lights going for a little bit of vibe. A huge thank you to All Power for sponsoring today's video. Be sure to check the link down below so that you can pick up your own. It is van life essential to have a power bank inside your van, and this is a great one. And it's jam-packed into one tiny little box that weighs less than 12 pounds. Alex and I woke up this morning in the Sun Raider with a beautiful view of a snowy outside. But when it's snowy like that, this means that Water leak's gonna show itself once the temperature warms up, and sure enough, we have a couple. Damn, right there. In the corner where the bed is, the bed over here is a little wet, but it kind of stops right about here, so nobody's feet really gets in this area. So that will be okay for now, which means we need to reseal this window, which is fine. That's not a difficult job. We have to unscrew the screws that they put into the gasket which i don't think you're even supposed to do um and so we'll have to reseal this whole gasket and put the window back into place once we get the gasket out and then so that will take care of this leak in the front even the window that has a bb hole in it even that window there doesn't have any leaking anywhere which is a great sign for a really old vehicle i kind of expected some things to leak kind of hopefully like a pretty easy replacement i know i'm saying this now but then every time after it's always difficult so a couple of big projects coming up for sure not a roll off the bed because it's a tight squeeze Whew. and then this window in the back has a slight leak looking like it's coming through this screw but then what happens is after it comes through the screw it lands on this top it runs down here comes down into the this little chimney area of the oven and then drips right out right there. Bam. That will create water on this floor. The floor looks good. Like it's not having much of an issue with it, but I don't want it to become a bigger issue. So I will be taking that window off and resealing it. And you could see that there was some moisture. We'll be replacing this area anyway with some different wood. I think we could make this thing really, really nice. So overall, pretty freaking good. You know, not not many things leaking. A lot less than I expected. I got some wiring coming today and some things coming today that should allow us to get all the speakers working. And that way we could have a nice, lovely trip all the way to Florida where we're gonna get this rig registered. We're in Salt Lake, so we got a big trip ahead of us. Um, so I definitely wanna get a few things working just to make that drive a little bit nicer. But with the bones and the structure of this, I feel like there's a lot of opportunity in, in this rig. It's obviously a bummer that we've got a couple of leaks. We went online. Luckily, there's tons of forums for these Sun Raiders, so I was able to find hopefully the right gaskets to fix the front. And we think we're just going to seal the back, but we can't do it while it's raining and snowing. And it's supposed to dump like 50 inches here in the next two days. We can't leave because we need to go through mountain passes and stuff. And it would be super dangerous to do it right now. And surprisingly, the bed was actually really well insulated last night. Like, I thought it was going to be freezing cold with the temperatures dropping and the snow coming. But it was pretty comfortable. So, that's a great thing. Oh, bunch of loose wires. Great. The previous owners left a lot of things in here, some good, some bad. So we're installing this extra light that they left and they had the wires ready and so it should just be like a pretty quick install. It works, but the way that I would do it is I would put like some type of stint in here behind here, like some type of bus bar, and then I would land to that bus bar and then go to each thing. So then that way they're individually wired and if something happens to one, then the other ones don't stop working. The other fun thing is probably poo. And definitely poo in the toilet. They said in the listing, brand new nature's head toilet, it's full of shit. And I gotta clean that. Yeah, that's a Frank, that's uh, not a pregnant lady job, that's a Frank. Uh, the goal right now isn't to have everything perfectly organized or perfectly in place or perfectly where we want it. It's just to get it all in. When we get to Florida, 
well, we're probably not even gonna be in Florida that long when we get to New York, I don't know, when we get to Toronto and we actually start like rebuilding and stuff, that's when we're gonna like really figure out where all of our stuff is going. But for now, we just need it like out of the boxes and into the house. <laughs> that feels dangerous. Oh. This is really the test. Let's see if she starts right up. Like a dream. Damn, that was great. I actually think this has a bigger tank than I expected because normally there's like an 18 gallon tank and then there's like a 20 something gallon tank you can upgrade to. And I just put in 19, almost 20 gallons. If we have the upgraded tank, that's huge. Now on to the next spot. We're gonna get some new tires on this bad boy. Oh man, I'm so excited for this. To have good tires is like having really good shoes. You know the shoes that make you feel like you're floating when you're walking? That's what new tires feel like on a rig. Look at those tires, baby. Brand new. Toyo. Look at that tread, baby. It actually is made for a better ride too as well. It seems like I could turn the wheels a little bit easier. I also think that the fact that it's wet outside is helping a lot. <sighs> That's a big step. Let's see what's inside this toilet. <sighs> I'm kind of scared of it. Oh my gosh, it's so disgusting. Oh, oh so gross. KJ just showed me how to take the lid off and she literally was like, oh, this is stupid, but I don't want to go. <laughs> I don't think anybody should be in there. Today. You should not film us, KJ. <laughs> this is gross. It's really disgusting. Why do I have to be involved in this? Because I can't do it myself. Oh my God, it's so gross. <laughs> Why? Why don't people just do a DIY compost thing like we did? How do I do this, right? <laughs> Is that like attack it? Just do it! Okay, here we go. You gotta stretch it. You gotta stretch it a little bit. You gotta double bag oh, it too. I, you double bag out. Oh, I will. Oh, okay. Alright, this part, if there's a little... Alright, now you gotta do this. Alright, hold on, hold on. Here goes duty! Oh! <coughs> Did it all go in? I don't know. Uh, give me a crank. Oh, oh, wow. oh. oh, no. oh it's coming out! Do you see it falling into the bag? Yeah. It's like, oh, yeah. Stop. Yeah, it's stuck in the park turd. No, no, no. You know what it is? It's the toilet paper. I'm sure. Oh, of it. there we go. There we got, now we got free wheel. All right. Uh, okay. Give me some taps. Tap me up. Tap me up. Yeah, that's the new handshake. Thank you, David. <laughs> Thank you, David. That actually came out pretty good. Better than I thought for Halloween. <laughs> Yeah, I'm actually really happy that all the TP went because I didn't want to have to actually get in there and grab that. Uh, well, it looks like I could use like a paper towel here. and kind of wipe it. <laughs> yeah, I got good. one for you. I'm supposed to put toilet paper in here, people. It's a big no-no. Stopo has a really comprehensive how to use a nature's head toilet guy, and that's why she came and helped because she's the expert. Wasn't well, for yeah. I kind of had shit dirt all over me. So thank you very much, Katie. <laughs> Now that the toilet is just chilling and getting ready to be put back in, we have to get all the other stuff in the garage into the house. The house is basically full already. Every single cupboard, full. Every single nook, full. KJ and James have been really awesome and they've said if there's some stuff here that we wanna sell or get rid of, I've listed a couple things on OfferUp already. So hopefully those will sell and they're gonna help us like get rid of those. Really grateful to Stoke for that. But there's some stuff that we really wanna take, so we gotta figure out where it's gonna live. Right now we're en route to Florida, where we're also not gonna be able to drop stuff off because then we're heading to Tennessee to fix the windows with our friends Tio, and then we're heading to New York, and then we're heading to Canada. So we can't really get rid of the extra stuff and kind of put it in storage until we get to Canada. So we're gonna be living with this stuff without a place to go until we get to Canada and we can actually do the renovations. Two big cases here. And then this doesn't look like that much, especially because it's all kind of spread out. All of Frankie's tools, 
still some like interior stuff. So like it's not a ton, but it's enough that it's like too much. I think step one will be to build a little extra cabinet. I just went to go stop the rig and it's not turning over. Oh, maybe. Hold on. Might not be the battery. <laughs> I know the list. What is it? Silly me. What? I have the, the brake on, and since I was working on the radio, I put it in drive, so that way I could get the thing back and forth by. Uh. So once this goes in the park, you know it's not dead. Yeah. The camera died, but the car did it. Oh, I can't believe that fit. I can, because I measured it. Yeah, I don't trust that. What? You don't trust my measurements? No. So the fancy brand new ice co just fits in the front here. That means we're not gonna have a pass through for the duration of the drive, which isn't necessarily ideal, but we love our new fridge and we're excited to incorporate it into the build. So we're gonna have to figure that out when we get to Canada. The shelf I was talking about is in this giant cupboard right here. I think it was built with the idea of having some kind of hanging storage in there, but there's no bar to hang anything. And honestly, we don't hang any of our clothes in the van ever. So we're gonna add some wood across the top to make one more layer and then hope that these latches that do nothing hold it shut. Frank has done an amazing job creating us two more cupboards, but I want you to see how unlevel the original builder made these. You can't open this door because it smashes on the air conditioning. Can you tell? It's literally like whoop, whoop, and then this one's like whoop. We got lots more room to fill up and hopefully the bungee cord holds it all close. Frank just cleared all the snow off the roof. This is the one window in the front that's really giving the problem because it's making the bed wet. This is like almost 10 inches of mattress, which with this small space here is not enough space and it doesn't actually fit. It's too big for the enclosure. So we've got a five inch mattress from Amazon, the Amazon special. It's waiting for us, but we've got to get this out and get it in so that it can inflate because it's one of the ones that's like rolled up. So here we go. She's free. Hey, how about this? This right here? This is a small puddle. So that means that we have to get the shop vac, vacuum that out, and make sure that this right here is sealed. Because this is what's creating that puddle right there. Oh! This is all water. This is ice, actually. Oh my god, there's a giant chunk of ice! Yeah. From that freezing. Oh! But this no. whole area is wet. Well, that might have just been pooling, but. Mm -hmm. Yep. Can you get rid of that? Yeah, I'd love to. mattress is in it gives us way more room in the front which is great i obviously need a shower so i'm gonna go do that we only have a little bit of stuff left to get into the van some tidy up and things like that we want to make sure that we leave the place as clean as possible for stoke i think that i'm over this and i'm ready to get on the road <laughs> The van is packed up and we are officially leaving Salt Lake City. We've got a 36 hour drive to get to Florida where we need to register this bad boy of a vehicle. And then, who knows? <laughs> well, I know, we have a lot of work ahead of us, a lot of things going on and a baby on the way. So there's a lot that's about to happen. So make sure that you subscribe and you join the channel and you see what happens. It's our first breakdown. This is the van life nightmare everybody is worried about, and we are so thankful that we have the support of every single one of our Patreons to get us through tough times like these. <laughs> well, that's not good. So now what? We're in the middle of nowhere. The engine is completely dead. Yep. All of our stuff is inside of there. How do we get it to Florida? How do we get us to Florida? And I mean, I think the biggest question is, do we just scrap it and wow 